Welcome to Black Onyx, where we hope to keep you better informed about investing. We're chatting with Len Jordan, who heads up the ETF distribution for ABSA CIB. Len, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Andrew. Len, how did you find yourself in the world of investments? So, Andrew, I finished a Bachelor of Commerce uh, at university. And as soon as I left Fasti, I, st I joined the, the commercial world with a, uh, a small private bank that specialised in asset-based finance. Um, but I always had a hankering for the financial markets. That's really what, uh, what interested me. And so I joined the Johannesburg Stock Exchange as a 24-year-old as a, as a uh, in the, on a graduate recruitment program and really got exposed to derivatives and exchange-traded funds while I was there. Uh, after uh, serving my time at the stock exchange, I got into the world of investment banking, but it was always very much uh, with an exchange traded fund or index fund uh, bias. Uh, and uh, after three years at the investment bank, I joined the asset management industry. Uh, so I, I learned a lot about unit trusts there, um, so the unlisted version of exchange traded funds. And now I find myself back in investment banking uh, again, with, with using indexation, but with some very interesting applications. Tell us about ABSA Corporate Investment Bank. So exchange traded funds are quite an interesting vehicle because they don't fit naturally within purely asset management because you, you need to have uh, a, a very trading orientated uh, capacity, which most asset managers don't. But they don't fit naturally within investment banking because you need to have the asset management ability. So they're kind of a hybrid of the two industries. And uh, ABSA CRB is the only issuer of, of ETFs in South Africa that is an investment bank. Everyone else is, is asset managers. And I think that gives us a bit of a competitive advantage, just simply because we are able to leverage off the asset management capability within the group, but we're also able to leverage off the trading ability with, within CRB specifically. Uh, the second reason that it fits nicely within CRB is that investment banks tend to have a very entrepreneurial culture. Uh, which, which asset managers don't tend to have. Asset managers tend to fear risk and not necessarily always like to be first to market, uh, whereas, whereas investment banks do like to be first to market and they, and they tend to be quite innovative. So I'm really enjoying being back in investment banking. I'm really enjoying being within ABSA CRB uh, just because of that uh, uh, empowering culture that they have in entrepreneurial spirit. 